what's going on everybody mike here from canadian cards uh hope you guys had a great weekend it's sunday night i uh went to a, a card show in toronto today it's actually a pretty cool setup uh any of you guys that follow me uh that are from canada um it was at it was actually at a craft brewery it was pretty cool they had the place uh the brewery part shut down and in the back warehouse they had a card table set up and uh it was kind of neat and you know they the bar was open too so who am i to say no to a nice cold bevy part way through the show so i um went there uh met uh a new buddy of mine he's a youtuber george from gen mint collectors um he's doing a psa submission I was going to do my own, and I just thought, you know what, I'll let him do it. He uh, he gets a better deal uh, because of the, the bulk that he sends in. And, um, you know, I just got into a little bit of hockey today. There wasn't much baseball, but uh, something got my juices flowing. And I know it's not uh, what I usually do, but uh, just a kind of little... Uh, in the background there, um, my son's a huge Martin Brodeur fan, so I've always uh, picked up Brodeurs along the way. I don't have any PSA 10s, but, um, I mean, these are all PSA 9s, so I got five PSA 9s of the Canadian version. You can tell because the Canadian version is score in red, and these are the U.S. versions, so I got a few of the, uh, few of the U.S. ones. One, two, three, four five six six of those and then probably back here there's about another 15 so i just thought you know what spencer that's uh, <laughs> a little uh, a little tribute to you because that's your guy and um just thought i'd do a little uh i'm gonna set up a few of these stands here um a little bit of my hockey some not not the best ones just some neat ones um i'm a big habs fan so i was going through some of my cards and um i just thought uh i'll show some of these ones off so starting here got a 1983 uh opg gila fleur and a gem mint 10. i'm a habs fan um love ken dryden and uh my my favorite player of all time has to be Guy lafleur so got that in a gem mint 10 i hope these don't tip over i always have a bad time with those also from 83 opg i got this gem mint 10 uh dennis pot van highlights hoisting the cup there it's a beautiful card great centering all the way around pretty nice please don't fall i don't want to redo this sorry about the glare there guys just trying to keep an eye out i'm watching the sunday night game fourth quarter falcons are up by five over the eagles that's good go cowboys got this 82 opg wayne gretzky record breaker on a psa nine um not even sure what's that for the glare uh more records for gretzky uh I my eyes are gonna fail me i'm not even sure what this record breakers for um but i mean he's the great one Brantford, ontario not too far from me about 35 minutes pretty much the town or city of Brantford everything's all about Gretzky and then also from 82 I've got this in action card of uh, Paul Coffey in a gem mint 10 so again I don't know that one's that one's a little off centered on the back although it's an older um, older PSA um, holder so I'm willing to bet if I resubmitted this it probably wouldn't get a 10 so it's gonna stay as a 10 <laughs> and here we go i hate these things i bought these because i see people using them but i'm not too sure about them 
So that's that. And then I'm going to take these off and I'm just going to um, go over some some modern modern day young guns. Um, I picked this one up today. He's no longer a hab. He got traded to the Predators and then uh, they traded him in the off season to the Devils. So again, you know, New Jersey's my son Spencer's team. So I think he's pretty happy now that that was kind of, you know, my guy. Now it's his guy. So P.K. Subban, Young Guns, and a PSA 10. This one here, honestly, I think is one of the most undervalued players, Miko Rantanen. This guy's just a stud. Um, you know, 2015 upper deck and, and literally putting up points consistently every year. I just don't think he gets enough love in the hobby up here. Still get his card for a pretty decent price. Another guy that I think is undervalued, uh, Braden Point of Tampa. That's his 2016. He's always in the top three or four scoring for his team. He's always in, you know, top 15 scoring uh, last couple of years uh in the league i just i don't i think he's not re-signed right now but um um they'd be a fool to not re-sign him um and then the last one i'm going to show you i picked this up at the expo last year because it's the mitch marner 2016 young guns psa 10 this card all the hype in Toronto is about Austin Matthews. Always has been. And this guy right here is the future of the Leafs. If they can, you know, re-sign him after the six years, I think 10 or 11 million he signed for. This guy is just great hands, great skater, great vision on the ice. Um, this guy just impresses me. He held out and just signed the other day, and I don't blame him. He's worth every single penny. So, although I hate the Leafs, I can respect a, a good player. And, um, yeah, picked that up at the uh, Sports Card Expo last year. I expect that will go up and up in Canada. So, there you have it, guys. A uh, little bit of hockey. Normally, it's baseball. Um, but, uh, you know what, it... Uh, um, it's time. It's been a couple of weeks since I did a video. Uh, just been busy with work and, and the junior football team that I run. Um, so I thought, you know what, it's time to get back into it. Um, probably won't get those PSAs. I, I did about, uh, I won, uh, something in this guy in George's contest where I got two free grades. So I gave him another 20 cards or so to go along with the two. And uh, probably won't see them till December, but hey, what the heck. Might as well give it a shot, right? Some of the baseball ones from the old collection that I picked up. Um, don't expect them to get too high of grades, but that doesn't matter. It's going into my collection anyhow. It's just nice stuff. And uh, anyways, um, getting close to 100 subs. Going to do a contest. Um I think I'm at about 92 right now, so that's pretty cool. Once I hit 100, I'll I'll figure out some uh, some contests to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you like, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.